Most people in America are familiar with our rights, but if you haven't figured it out by listening to any of my recent audio casts versus some of the professional things I did in the past that people are abusing, I have to tell you that I'm a man that fights for people's rights. I am definitely a consumer rights advocate, and I am definitely a public policy advocate, and I'm definitely a political consultant, and I'm definitely producing artwork, and I'm definitely producing creativeness, and I'm definitely producing anything that God asks me to produce. If I choose to use my food, my little leftover food that is a little bit causing me gluten intolerance, I have the right to feed that to anything I want to. Nobody's going to tell me how I'm going to use my finances, how I'm going to use my body, how I'm going to use anything of me. But my guess is you have the same feeling about yourself. So when you hear me talking, when you hear me spousing off, when you hear me squawking, I'm talking about the, the right to your own human body. And I'm talking about the abuses that police officers do in our communities. And I'm talking about the liars of America that destroy Amer the fabric of America. I'm talking about the foreign students that come here to stay here, and that was their plan originally. And that's not okay here. I'm talking about how people do fall in love and stay under legitimate reasons, but at the same time they come and play and don't stay here for the right reasons. We don't need sleeper agents in America, and we don't need people abusing people like me or you in America. I am definitely a proponent of women's rights, but what I feel is we also have other people's rights like me, that, that there are men's rights for a person to be who God has called them to be. And what I think is that we have too many Americans who think they understand God's calling, but what they think is they understand God's calling for you or for me, and they're not realizing that God gives them an individual calling. But God is not calling you to abuse a person's life. And God is not calling you to be inappropriate about someone's sexual genitalia. And the reason I push on that so much is not because I might have a small package, because I'm a man of small stature, and I didn't get the genes that my father might have had of being a big man in the world. But what I did get from my father was his love, his regard, his respect, and his honor. And I'm pretty proud of that. He was a lieutenant colonel in the military, and he did teach me to regard people who serve the community and serve our country. But what I can say to you is that there are liars across America. And the lie in people's minds is what they tell themselves about what their rights are to someone else's body. And it is not your fucking right under any God to take advantage of someone else's body. And it is not your right to put out in public what someone else's genitalia looks out looks like. That's actually considered public porn. And while you might want to view that at the privacy of your own computer, in your own home for whatever reason that you need might need that, most of us don't see it as something we put out in public. We don't have nudist beaches here in the Midwest. There might be some on the East Coast, there might be some on the West Coast, there might be some in the South, or there might be some in the North. I have no idea, but I don't go to them. What I know about people's genitalia is that they belong to them. What that means is we have responsibilities to our own bodies. And I have a responsibility to care for and keep, keep healthy my body. But what you've tried to do to me in, in your immorality and in your sexual inappropriateness is harm my body. And that makes me mad. But it also makes me mad on behalf of women, not just men like me, who literally get abused every day in the political marketplace by politicians of every state who think they have the right to tell a woman what they can do with their genitalia and whether or not they can get laid and whether or not they can have babies and all these sorts of things. You see, that pisses me off. There are plenty of us in America that don't have any interest in procreation because there's plenty of kids across the world that need our love. And that's all I can say. But when I'm a father and when I'm a grandfather, I don't need you fucking touching my body, telling me what I can and can't look like to my children or my grandchildren. Don't fucking touch me again. Every morning I wake up with my beard cut off further, I promise you at some point God is going to take me exactly where I need to go and I'm going to fucking murder you. But it won't be me doing this. I will put you in such a pickle that you will never get out of it. That is the promise of the Lord today. That is prophetic wisdom. You don't have a right motherfucker to touch anybody in the night and you motherfucking know it. You fucking shitbag. So if you hear me cursing, if you hear me swearing, it's because I'm mad at American men who think they have the right and females of America who thinks they have the might to harm people anywhere in the world. You don't have a right to someone's body. And if you're for abortion or against abortion, you need to step back and go, does someone have the right to your body? That's what I'm asking you. Does anyone in this world have a right to your body that you did not give permission? And everybody fucking knows the answer is no.